Today, I'm gonna share three strategies on how agents are using their sales pipeline and command to never miss out on an opportunity. Consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and using the bell icon to never miss out on future content. Let's jump in. We've reviewed the four laws of lead generation on this channel before. Number one, build a database. Two, feed it daily. Three, systematically communicate with it. And four, service all the leads that come your way. One of the best ways to make sure that you never miss out on an opportunity is to manage a sales pipeline. When it comes to managing your sales pipeline and command, that's all gonna happen from opportunities. Here in opportunities, we have three pipelines that are set up for every agent at Keller Williams broken down by listings, buyers, and leases. Each pipeline is broken down into five distinct phases to help you manage the sales process from start to finish. Starting with cultivate, moving to appointment, then active, under contract, and celebrating at the closing table. Today, we're gonna talk about three strategies on how to manage the cultivate phase of your sales pipeline specifically keeping an eye on all of that future business to make sure that you never miss out on an opportunity. Let's jump into the cultivate phase on my listings pipeline, where here I have eight opportunities representing eight potential listings in the future. For all eight of these opportunities, my goal here is to make sure that I'm moving them forward in the process to booking that appointment where I have the opportunity to interview for the job to be their listing agent. Here, each of these opportunity cards is movable, meaning I can move them forward in the process to make sure that I'm consistently looking forward and measuring when are they going to be hiring an agent. Now, watch, nurture, and hot. These are the three default stages that are available to every agent the first time they log into their sales pipeline. And we also made these customizable so that way agents could take a look at their pipeline and identify what strategies are gonna help them succeed to making sure they never miss out on an opportunity. I'm gonna use the stages and checklist button to show you two additional ways that you can customize your sales pipeline. First, we have the watch, nurture, and hot. I'm gonna assign timeframes to these. So for watch, I'm gonna change this to 12 plus months. Next for nurture, I'm gonna use the edit pencil icon on the right hand side, and I'm gonna say nine to 12 months. I'm gonna change hot, three to six months. And then I'm gonna add another stage here using that add stage button in the top right hand corner to represent my fourth bucket for this strategy. And I'm gonna name this zero to 90 days. I'm gonna assign a probability percentage of 10. The probability percentage is the likeliness that this listing opportunity or buyer or lease opportunity is going to convert into closed business. Now that I have my four stages created representing this new timeline structure where I put specific measures of time I'm gonna click on this Back to Listings Cultivate button in the top left-hand corner, where here I haven't lost any of my eight opportunities. However, I have another stage and I renamed the three existing. Now I can use those six dots to the left of each opportunity card to drag and drop and make sure that these are representing the exact timelines on when I expect each of these potential sellers to be interviewing listing agents. Now that I've added the month, I wanna make sure that the opportunity pipeline flows in the same order. So I'm gonna use this button here on the left-hand side, click, drag, and let go to drop that in place, making sure April is at the top. So I'm going in sequential order from bottom to top. That way, when I click on the back to listings cultivate pipeline here, now I can see I have my furthest away opportunities on the far left-hand side, and I can continue to drag them forward each month, thinking that these three listings are gonna be hiring a listing agent sometime in December. The goal of any of these strategies is to make sure you're looking at the cultivate phase on your listings, buyers, and leases pipeline to see what potential opportunities for business you have in the future. So that way, when Henry's ready to hire a listing agent, you can go ahead and book that appointment and move them forward in the process all the way to the closing table. Did I mention that you could do all of this while working on the go from the command app? 
why don't you check out one of our other videos right here on our YouTube channel? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and never miss out on future content, because the KW Command YouTube channel is the place to be.